If you guys know anyone who wants to get past this screen, show them this video. What's going on guys? Kelvin here and welcome to 320 Tech. Does the phrase enable full screen ring a bell to any of you guys? Maybe? Not really sure? How about this screen? I had a feeling you guys would recognize this image. But the big question is, what does this all mean? I mean, if you guys read the text below the enable full screen title, it says select clocks on your device and enable full screen to use remote. Huh? I mean, I've tried selecting clocks on my phone and pressing the sync button, but it does nothing. And then next it tells me to enable full screen to use the remote. What remote? Why do I need a remote? Grandma, do you need a remote? Kevin, why isn't this dumb remote working? It says enable full screen to use remote. The TV is already full screen and the remote is still not working. Kelvin, this dumb remote is almost as dumb as you. Grandma angry. What? <laughs> I'm getting a DNA test. There's no way I'm related to that. Anyways, like what full screen are we enabling? I mean, if we don't enable it, are we only using half the screen? Part of the screen? No screen at all? I know a bunch of you guys who are trying to install Clockology are asking the same question. What on earth? Does enable full screen even mean? All right, calm down, calm down. Let me explain. To be honest with you guys, I don't actually know what it means. Like I have no idea why this screen is even appearing. And if I did know, it still wouldn't really help. But one thing that will help is this amazing, this fantastic. It's potentially the best file in the world. Okay, okay, maybe it's not that great, but this file will enable you guys to bypass the enable full screen message that every single one of you guys are experiencing. And the file is called enable beta clock. And before you guys ask me, I literally have no idea why it's called what it's called. Clockology has long passed its beta phase, so maybe they should, I don't know, reconsider renaming the file? Perhaps enable out of beta clock? No? Anyways, the enable beta clock was originally found from the Clockology fans Facebook page. But for all of you guys who either don't have Facebook or are a bit too lazy, I've linked the file in the description below. If you guys appreciate me doing this, the least that you guys could do to help me out is to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let me show you guys how to do everything from the very beginning. Alright guys, follow my lead. So let's press on the link. That'll open up the Mediafire website. Then we'll press enable beta. That'll open up a brand new web page. Then over here it asks, do you want to download enable beta clock? We'll press download. It downloaded. So let's press on the downloads folder on the top right corner. Then press enable beta. And there you guys go. That was so easy. All right, once that's done, let's long hold on the enable beta file. Then press watch sync. And then we'll press sync. There you guys go. Now the watch has been synced. Okay, this is probably the most important step that most people forget about. Your Apple Watch display must be on as well as having Clockology running at the same time. If your screen is off or Clockology is not running, this will not work. It doesn't really matter how many times that you guys try, if either of these things are not met, this entire process will not work. It's really, really simple. Just have the display on 
and Clochology running at the same time. That's it. Oh yeah, one last thing. When I say having Clochology running, I mean leaving it on the enable full screen screen. That's it. Another thing that I did want to mention is it may take a few tries for this to work. Through my personal experience, it took maybe three to five tries before the beta file actually synced. So just keep trying and eventually it'll work for you guys. Some other users also reported that restarting your phone and your watch helped the entire sync process. So if you guys are still having trouble syncing your watch, give that a go. Eventually, you guys will know when the watch has finished syncing when you see the pink beta logo on the watch. At this point, give it a quick restart and you guys will be ready to go. If you guys need some help getting started, watch my video on my top 20 watch faces of 2020 to see some amazing watch faces. These watch faces were made by some amazing designers and they're all totally free to use. You guys won't have to pay a single cent and if you guys really appreciate it, just say thank you in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to see some more Clochology content in the future. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, Calvin, why is this dumb mode working? Oh, Calvin, why isn't this dumb remote working, Calvin? Oh, it says enable full screen to use remote. Oh, the TV is already full screen and this dumb mode is still not working. Maybe enable out of beta clock? No? This dumb remote is almost as dumb as you, Kelvin! <laughs> this dumb remote is almost as dumb as you, Kelvin! Grandma angry! What? Wait, what? Oh. Whoa.